Hello. Hello. The Lord has a word for us today about event horizon. That was the word that he spoke to us. And so we looked it up. He said, look it up. He said, an event horizon is the threshold around a black hole where the escape velocity surpasses the speed of light. So according to Einstein's theory of special relativity, nothing can travel faster through space than the speed of light. This means a black hole's event horizon is essentially the point beyond which nothing can return. So that's the definition of event horizon. Mm -hmm. So it's the point of no return. Point of no return. Point of no return. Okay. So now this is the word of the Lord. The Lord says, speak to the people and say, the event horizon of the earth has been reached. The Father has decided to intervene. Now, today, and this word was given July 30, 2021, today there will be no going back. The events on earth demand intervention because of love. From today, he will intervene as he has said he would. This is a sovereign intervention, but according to his design and his way. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit of God is still the paraclete or the helper. He works with or through men and continues to do so. This intervention will increase in intensity all over the globe. It may appear chaotic, but it is not. The father of lies will use everything at his disposal to create fear and violence. <clears throat> Do not be deceived by these gyrations. It will be very easy to go into fear, depression, and feel that there is no hope. That is exactly Satan's plan. Don't fall for it. It has been said, get the popcorn and sit by and watch to see what happens. But I, the Lord, say, watch and pray. Hmm. Follow my spirit. Mm -hmm. Go where he says to go. Do what he says to do. Yeah. I'm calling my faithful ones to battle. Yes, I am a warrior, says the Lord. Come join me in battle. Join the battle and prepare to revel in the spoils. Do not fear, but only trust. Have faith. It is me. I am leading this intervention, and I will have my victory, says the Lord. Much of the earth's people are used to being represented by someone else. In their churches, governments, schools, virtually every institution has a few leaders who represent everyone else. The ones who are represented stay away then. They pay their representatives, and other than that, they have very little interest in what's going on. A hmm. reset is needed. And it is coming, says the Lord. This laziness on the part of my people will come to an end, and my spirit will lead them in paths of righteousness and wisdom. They will no longer settle for less than I desire of them. Amen. Wow, there's a lot there again. Um, first of all, though, um, it's like the second or third time that he's mentioned that he's going to intervene. Only this one sounds like immediately or beginning uh, now. Yeah, I wondered about that too, because I said, Lord, I thought you said you already intervened. <laughs> right. And I looked back at the word and, he, and it was, I am, I have decided to intervene. He didn't say it started right now. He said, I mm -hmm. have decided. So this was Today, there is the point of no return, July 30, 2021. No more options. No more. No more getting out. This is what yep. he, he's doing. And then after that, um, just generally speaking, it sounds like a call to arms, a, mm -hmm. a, a um, call to action. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then the reset uh, seems to, in this uh, word, seems to be 
uh, aimed at um, involvement and um, walking out um, his will, uh, according to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so it's 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 about action. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it's yeah. I find that very exciting. <laughs> mm. The battle kind of excites me. <laughs> um, but he says you need to listen to the Holy Spirit. You need to pray. First of all, don't fear because that's what the enemy wants you to do. Yep. So if he's telling us don't fear, it means there's going to be something that will make you want to go into fear. Yes. If he's saying don't get depressed, it means there's something that might make you want to be depressed. Mm -hmm. If he's saying don't lose hope, it's because there's something that might want to make you lose hope. And if he's saying you need to follow, then you need to follow. You need to be listening mm -hmm. to his voice. You need to pray uh, the way that he tells you to pray. Don't just assume you know, but ask him how to pray for each situation. Right. Um, if, and then he says, go where I tell you to go and mm -hmm. do what I tell you to do. That's involvement. There is involvement. You know, there's protests going on across the world, which the media lies about. But thankfully, we have... Um, some wonderful people that uh, that write to us and tell mm -hmm. us exactly what's going on in the countries that they're in, and and they're rising up across yeah, the that, world. They already have risen up they, in a lot of cases. Yeah, yeah. and um, and in the United States, we need to do that as well. Remember the January six political prisoners. Um, rise up on their behalf too. There's hundreds of them mm -hmm. in the in the D.C. Gulag, and they're all. They're in solitary confinements, many of them, um, yeah, for wow. between, what did they say, between 23 and 32 hours at a stretch. And uh, then they're allowed out for like an hour or something like that. It's, it's horrid. Hmm. It's horrid. And they've done nothing wrong. It's simply because they're a political prisoner. We need to rise up against stuff like that. It could be you. It could be me. It could be your loved one. Mm -hmm. um, and consider that it is your loved one because Jesus loves these people. And right. so this yep. is just an example of a way to get involved, to pray for mm -hmm. them, to support them monetarily. They need it. Um, support the Sydney Powells of the world that are mm, fighting these right. battles. Whatever, and I'm not telling you you have to do these things. I'm telling you follow the Holy Spirit. Whatever Holy Spirit tells you to do, mm -hmm. these are just some of the things that He's brought to our attention recently. So, right, and um, this word too, like Tiffany was saying about fear, he says it is exactly Satan's plan um, to get us in fear, to make us be uh, better able. For him to cow us around, you know, uh, to to give in, to give up, whatever. Um, but that's not God's way. God's way is not to give in or to give up. So um, I, I, that involvement is necessary. And, and praise God for those who are rising up around mm -hmm. the world, France and um, Australia, and uh, we see other places. Um, uh, other countries, Greece, and um, it seems like UK, and just oh wow, it's it's, it's amazing, and and um, praise God for that because it's necessary, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the Lord also told us um, regarding these things, like maybe the JAB, that you you have permission to be shrewd in those instances, so. I want, I want to remind you, say you were in Nazi Germany during World War II and you were hiding Jews in your house and the Gestapo comes to your door and says to you, are you hiding Jews? Would you say yes or would you say no? If mm -hmm. you're hiding the Jews, you're going to say no. And what if they say, well, sign this paper here, making sure that, you know, sign here and saying that you're really not hiding them. Okay, you'd sign and say you're not hiding them. Why? Because there's a higher law at work. You're obeying the Holy Spirit, knowing that what they are doing is evil, and you're resisting it, but you're being shrewd at the same time. Sure. And so yep. just as you follow the Holy Spirit, remember, it's maybe time for shrewdness mm -hmm. on the part of the saints. So. Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind offending what you think is right. <laughs> no. He is... <laughs> He leads us into all truth, and um, we have to accept that leading, mm -hmm. even if it doesn't look quite right to us. Right. So <laughs> yeah. that's true. Yeah.
He's so good, and he loves you so much. Uh, and this is a great, great word. It is a great word, and it, it's uplifting. I think the whole world uh, could say that with this word. It is time to rise up. And, you know, in a different word, he said that all the countries in the world will see the evil that communism is, and they will defeat it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's what this looks like to me, people rising up mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. Defeat is inevitable for right. communism. That it and will socialism. be. It mm -hmm. will be or socialism. It mm -hmm. will be put down. Mm -hmm. so. Right. And the. And I just want to remind you. He says this intervention of the Lord will increase in intensity all over the globe. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's for all of us. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Oh, be Jesus. Encouraged. Jesus loves you. Amen. Hello. Hello. This is uh, Kirk and Tiffany, and we want to tell you about Seeking the Glory of God Ministries and, more importantly, Destiny Road LLC. DestinyRoadStore.com exists to help those who are at risk or have been rescued from human trafficking. While spreading the gospel to the nations, supporting orphanages, and helping our partner Jimmy in Haiti to spread the gospel there. All of the money that you spend at Destiny Road goes to further the Kingdom of Heaven. If you would rather, you may donate to Seeking the Glory of God Ministries, and the information is in the description box below this video. God bless you and thank you. God bless you.